Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be another story time video. However, it's going to be the story time on my sugar daddy experiences. I've had multiple, so let's just get right into it. So I'm going to talk about three experiences I've had with three separate people. Basically, my first sugar daddy I had was when I was 17 years old. Yes, I was 17 on Grinder. Not supposed to do that, but who really listened to that? So I was 17 and on Grinder. I was doing whatever. I don't really remember exactly, but. I was scrolling, scrolling, and then I found someone who was like, I think his profile said he was like 65. I, I never really got his real age because when you go to like hook up with somebody, you don't ask them for their ID. You just kind of, uh, okay, let's, let's fuck. You know, he was kind of attractive. It was like the sort of like salt and pepper hair, like five o'clock shadow sort of thing. He was toned. He had a good kind of looking body. I mean, when you're getting a little older, your body kind of tends to let itself go just naturally. So yeah, for his age, he, he was decent. He was decent. I never really ever even talked to him about it being like a sugar daddy experience. We just started talking for a hookup just to have sex. We eventually started hanging out whatever. I went over to his house. He ended up actually having two children that I didn't know about. His two kids were actually, I think they were at summer camp or something like that. He had the house to the, himself for a week. So that's why I ended up going over there. I went over there. We did the do. When I went to go leave, I noticed money sitting on the, his dresser and I was like, what's that? Like, what is that? And he said, it was for me, I ended up counting it and it was $250. Just for one round of hanky panky, it was $250. So at this moment, I was thinking to myself like, uh oh, this actually could be something. But not to make me sound like a whore or anything, but I mean, I kind of had a bit of a whore phase after. I ended up breaking up with one of my longtime boyfriends. We won't talk about that. So he ended up giving me $250. Yeah, my parents would be so proud. <laughs> My second sugar daddy experience is one time I snuck out after I was 18, so it's not really sneaking out, but like my parents didn't know I left. Snuck out, quote unquote, because my parents were really strict. I left the house, went to a hotel in my town. It's a Motel 6. I don't know if you guys ever know about that, obviously, because it's a sketchy sort of situation and it could be a thing. But yes, we went to a Motel 6. This Motel 6 is so sketchy, you can pay for it by the hour. And so he paid for like five hours or something like that because he was in town. He was some sort of like real estate agency sort of person. He appraised properties. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. I just know that he was like loaded. I had talked to him about this being sort of like a sugar daddy sort of situation. Like, hey, you know, I'm going to do this. What do I get out of it? Even though, I mean, I was already involved. I wanted something for me out of this, considering this guy was significantly older. He ends up telling me that, you know, I can pay you for your services. That sounds kind of sketchy. So I was just like, do you want to be a sugar daddy or something like that? Like, let's not make this sound weird. So we end up sort of like have this ongoing thing. I ended up meeting up with this guy like four or five times. Every time he would give me either anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars whether I earned it or not like the last time I ended up seeing that guy particularly he gave me the money after we did everything whatever he ends up telling me that like he has cancer or something like that I'm I'm not trying to be insensitive but like all of a sudden you have cancer like out of nowhere and after that he never really messaged me again so I'm not quite sure what I did there but yeah and then my third experience with a sugar daddy is my most frightening experience actually I went to a party one night and we get drunk whatever I'm not really a fan of drinking but like this was like one of my first few times drinking so whatever this was after I was 18 kind of living my life being a little bit of a wild child there's this guy there he's probably like 42 to 45 ish like he was the youngest one out of all of them we go into the other room and I black out like I literally don't remember anything except for the next morning of waking up next to him I was completely naked there was a cup with like a little bit of water left in it and I believe I was roofied when I it wasn't that I, I don't want to sound like a terrible person saying this because like it was it, it was a terrible situation because like if I did end up getting roofied that's like terrifying and what the fuck but like at the same time I got money out of it but I don't remember what what I did to get the money because he took like I don't know it was weird because we were talking about the fact that like he was gonna give me money before we even ended up hooking up or anything because like at a party you obviously mingle with people but this was like a passion party so passion parties are about sex stuff and you sell sex toys and lubricants and all sorts of things like that so you can only 
imagine the kind of conversations that were happening. I woke up the next morning next to him naked and he asked me how I slept and after that he flipped me money. I don't remember exactly how much. It's just a whole hazy situation and that's really the last time I got significantly drunk. I don't like drinking. But yeah, so that was my story time on my sugar daddy experiences with three of them. So thanks for watching this video guys. Please leave a like down below if you actually liked it. Also don't forget to subscribe for more from me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!